Welcome. I'm Kinetic Symphony. I hunt down and report on mysterious and weird true stories, from glitches to the paranormal. Case file number 747, written by Triple Dog 5414. Old lady survives collision with semi truck. The weirdest thing happened to my friend and I in October last year. We discuss it all the time and we still have no explanation for what we saw. It was about 6pm on a Friday night and my friend and I were walking to a nearby pub to meet the rest of our friends. We stopped at the lights at an intersection with heavy traffic. As we were talking and waiting for the lights to change, a lady approached us from behind and began waiting as well. There was nothing remarkable about her, the only thing of note really is that she had a limp. She was about middle aged wearing a red blouse, beige skirt and bright orange scarf. She was holding a bouquet of red flowers and seemed to be coming home from work. She stopped and stood at the lights a couple meters away from us. She stood there for about 5 seconds, just as a large semi truck was approaching the intersection at about 45 miles an hour. When it was about to reach us, the lady placed her handbag and flowers on the floor and just stepped in front of it without any warning. We saw the truck hit her. We heard the sound of the hood colliding with her body and then what sounded like crunching and dragging. I swear I saw her actually beneath the wheels with all her black hair everywhere as she was being tumbled along under it. The truck just sped by, seemingly without noticing that it had hit someone. My friend had his hands over his hair and was repeating, Oh my god! over and over again while I felt like I was going to vomit. My friend turned and said something like, The truck must be dragging her beneath it, it's not even stopping. I thought I was going to black out at this point. My friend pulled out his phone to call the police and an ambulance when suddenly he stopped mid-sentence, his mouth wide open in complete shock. I turned to see what he was looking at, and it was the same woman, identical, right down to the limp, the bright scarf and the red flowers. No freaking way, I thought. I looked around for the handbag and flowers the woman had put down, but they were nowhere to be found. My friend and I were in absolute shock. I walked up to the lady and asked if she was okay, and she just looked at me funny and said that everything was fine. Then the lights changed and we all crossed the street and parted ways. My friend called the local police station just in case and said that they weren't sure whether we saw a pedestrian get hit by a truck. The police said that they would look into it and that was that. We didn't hear from them again so I assumed there was no accident. We still cannot logically explain what we saw. Case notes for file 747. An old lady surviving a collision head on with a semi truck. So I have no idea how I would personally react if I witnessed something like this, but I'm just trying to put myself in the story. I think there would be a lot of puking involved and honestly, I don't think my brain would be able to process what, what happened. Something that traumatic. I would be in shock first. I wouldn't believe it's happening. It would take a few minutes before your mind could adjust to the horrific reality of what just occurred then the, the woman is already back alive. And it's as if she never stood in front of the truck. Now I do think there is an explanation, it's just one that's so hard to wrap our heads around. If you've listened to my channel at all, you probably realize that I think that quantum immortality is real. The thing is, quantum immortality is just a pathway, a consequence of transporting one's consciousness between parallel universes, but it only really happens when we die, at least as far as we can tell. However, there are some people, sometimes, in specific locations, and even when people are together, close by, so I think it's more regional than personal. Although there may be some mechanism in the brain that has to be activated for this to be possible. But in short, I think some people are able to peer into these other universes, to look through, sort of like a looking glass. You look into the mirror, but the you looking back isn't quite you. Or in this case, you're not looking at a reflection of yourself, but just a different reality. A universe almost the same as ours. Everything that led up to the woman wearing the same clothes. The only difference is, in that universe, for whatever reason, she was suicidal. And decided that in that moment, it was enough and she was going to end it. And the sad thing is, most of the time, 
we're only able to travel to or witness parallel universes that are very close to us, and probably that means that they are very, very similar. So, the woman you saw, even though she didn't step in front of the truck, I think there's a high likelihood that she wanted to. She just didn't do it then. I don't know if she's still alive and kicking around, I wonder. I hope she got the help she needed. Case file number 748, written by Skinny Mini 18 the Matrix Hub, Walmart. So I know this is going to sound weird and ridiculous, but the craziest thing happened at Walmart today that kind of freaked me out for a while. So me and my girlfriend go to Walmart pretty frequently. It's cheap and sometimes they have really cool Disney and anime shirts and stuff that we like and it's only 5 minutes from our house. She told me she was going to check the women's clothes area to see if they have any biker shorts while I was going to go to the men's section to see if they had any new anime or Disney shirts. We decided I would just meet back with her since the registers are right in front of the women's clothes and then we would go. When I was done checking the men's stuff, I saw my girlfriend walking towards the food section and in my head I was wondering why she was going there. So I started following her to catch up and I saw her suddenly turn left. I ran and turned left too, and no one was there. It was quite simply an empty aisle. I was kind of confused, so I ran some more looking for her, thinking she was messing with me, and maybe went to the next aisle, and legit, there wasn't anybody near there, and I was confused on where she would have gone. At that point, I decided to just call her up and said, Hey, where are you? Why did you go to the food aisle? I told you I'd meet back up with you in the woman's clothes area. And she said, I am in the woman's clothes. I've been here in the same spot. I just saw you walk here, referring to the section I'm at. She was really confused too. I ran towards the woman's section and found her, told her what happened and told her what I saw and she said maybe I mistook someone else for her, but my girlfriend is pretty distinct. She's 5 foot 9 and has really long blonde hair and is decked out completely in Disney memorabilia. She was definitely weirded out, but kind of just shrugged it off. Honestly, I have no clue what happened. I was only like 7 feet from her when she turned the aisle, and I don't think she would have made it all the way down to the next aisle by the time I turned into it. So no matter who it was, how did they run so fast? And I ran around the entire vicinity looking for her because I thought it was weird. She was legitimately trying on clothes when I met back up with her at the woman's section. Who the hell did I see? Or what was it? The fact this happened at Walmart of all places is weird in of itself, but it really did freak me out. I know people are going to think, oh, you just saw someone who looked like your girlfriend, but she was wearing something very specific. A Disneyland jersey which you only get from the park, with Disney Crocs. We live in a retirement town near a reservation in the valley, so not many 5 foot 9 blonde girls decked out in Disney memorabilia here. Plus, the girl I saw basically disappeared into thin air, so even if it was a girl who just looked like my girlfriend, this still was weird as hell. Case notes for file 748. The Matrix Hub. Walmart. I think we all knew that already. <laughs> One thing though, we can't deny, Walmart is pretty affordable. I definitely go there sometimes myself too. I mean, you can't beat it. They have great deals and, you know, not the best quality, but you get what you pay for. And yeah, we all know that Walmart is filled with uh, rather unusual people, so that it's a Matrix hub isn't surprising. And you are right that it's very, very rare. A woman in the US that's 5 foot 9, just in that of itself, is 10% of women. So that'd be 5% of the population. Then you add into the fact that she's blonde, she's wearing this very hyper-specific Disney memorabilia, and the odds collapse to 1 in a a million, if not greater odds. And then the really weird part is the fact that she just vanished, whoever this was. It was almost like the past story where you were seeing a different universe. And, you know, nothing was really different. And this would explain why she wasn't there when you went to check. She was. She just was in a different universe. And for whatever reason, you were able to see that universe temporarily. Maybe we see into these alternate universes frequently. We just don't notice because most of the time, it's exactly the same as ours. Or the differences are so minor that we can't even process them. That would make sense. There's some overlap, bleed through. At least for the universes that are very near to us. 